This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. We're selling this 2006 Jeep Wrangler Sport on eBay. Um, it was a repo from Wells Fargo. We purchased it at an auction. Um, it's, uh, a, a, it, it's got the right-hand drive, and it's got no passenger seat, so obviously someone used this out in some rural area as a post vehicle. I'm dropping off mail. Um, it's four-wheel drive. It's automatic. It's a six-cylinder. It's got 22,000 actual miles. It runs great. Um, it has a little bit of belt noise. We put a new belt on it. Um, it might be the cut clutch fan. We're going to figure that out this week and deal with it. But uh, it's not affecting the performance. It just makes a little bit of noise when you get to like 4,000 RPMs. We're going to handle that. I just wanted to get this online this weekend. But we put a brand new set of tires. Brand new set of tires on the vehicle. The paint and body, as you can see, are great. Um, there's the driver rear tire. It's got a spare. This was a spare. This was on the Jeep when we bought it. That's what they look like on it. Um, obviously, brand new tires. really nothing to report as far as the uh, the uh, looks of the vehicle are concerned. There's under the hood. Runs great. I think that it probably didn't have air conditioning and someone added air conditioning to it. That might be what the belt noise is all about. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, new battery. Um, that's about that. Normally, oh, I'll show, we also replaced the uh, the windshield, and when we did that, someone stole the rearview mirror. So we'll be supplying one of those. The doors, obviously, you know, Jeeps, these things just come right out. This window, as you can see, the zipper is okay on this side, but doesn't have a deal to pull on. And this one's off track, and it's so much brain damage trying to get those things back on that I'm going to leave that up to the buyer. Anyway, there's the big hole where the seat used to be. Seats are cheap. I mean, you can buy a rear seat and a front seat for nothing. I mean, a couple hundred bucks, if you want it. Um, anyway, uh, I always tend to try to get into the vehicle on the wrong side. There's the door bin. When we bought it, they told us it was a repo from uh, Wells Fargo, and it had a w Wells Fargo sticker on the windshield. Um, they tried to sell it at Mannheim Auction, but Mannheim can't sell it because dealers dealers cannot buy these things. Um, so it was a no-sale there, and then it uh, went to a insurance auction um, where you know cars have a little bit more international pull, and that's how we got this one. All right, so. You can hear the air blowing right here. There's the air. Blows great. There's that. Let's see. Let's try the four-wheel drive. Let's put that. It's weird being on this side. Okay. There's four-wheel drive. That's four high. There's four. Let me see. There's four low. Okay. Let's see, now we put it in, there we go. Now I gotta put it back into neutral. Put it back, Yikes. I gotta put it in neutral somewhere. Oh, there it is, duh. I had it in reverse, there you go. All right, so that's that. That's what it looks like. Let me turn this air back on, man, it's hot. Tucson is about 900 degrees today. Let's see what else we got. 
Let's see. Here's your miles. Turn that air down a little bit. All right, let's go for a drive. And I'm not uh, particularly. That's weird. This is so weird to drive on this side of the car. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm gonna bash into something. All right, time to deliver the mail. Oh, there's a mailbox. Look, see? If I took this door top off, I would just reach right over here, grab my little mail sack, and put it in there. All right? But I have no uh, desire to be a postman. God, that's weird. This is so strange. All right. I mean, that's that door frame bouncing around. You know, see how the pegs go in there? You can hear it flopping around in there. So that's probably a good idea just to take those stupid things out. Boy, it runs like brand new. Very smooth. Aside from that window flapping around and the metal hitting that. smoother road here. Give you a little gas here. Wow, that's a great running truck. I love this Jeep. I just feel like uh, I'm doing something wrong. I'm on the wrong side of the Jeep. <laughs> trying to drive this thing from the passenger seat. All right. First thing I would do is take that stupid window out. Man, that is annoying. Rattling around like that. Anyway, this will be on eBay um, and on Craigslist. Uh, please bid fast and uh, bid your max because I have a feeling with the miles on this thing, um, it's going to be quick. I mean, that's all, and you know what? My guy told me it made that noise at 4,000 RPMs, the belt noise, but I'm not hearing it. So when I pull over here, I'm just gonna go all the way back to my yard, put it in neutral and let you listen to it again and see if it even does it. It might have just been because the detail guys, you know, were screwing around and put too much of their stupid dippity doodah juice on the motor or whatever they did, and got the belt real wet. Let me put this thing in neutral. I'm gonna park here. Now oh, it's here. Yeah, here. Let's see. Let me open the door. That's what we're talking about. Anyway, we're gonna find out before the before anyone actually pays for this car if we need to get a new clutch flan or if you know it's just gonna if the whatever they put on the armor all or whatever is going to wear off. I don't know. We're going to find out what it is. Um, it has nothing to do with how the car runs, but it's annoying <laughs> to have that. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.